Princess Margaret relaxes for a moment from the excitement of her Mombasa welcome, walking with Sir Evelyn Baring, Governor of Kenya, and Lady Baring in the grounds of Government House. The people of Mombasa have named her Mwangavu, the Radiant One. And as she drives in the sunshine through a gathering of 20,000 schoolchildren in the local stadium, she certainly looks worthy of the title. Mombasa is a place of many communities, and at the Diamond Jubilee Hall, the princess attends a reception by more than 1,200 Arab, Asian, and African women. This is a Purdah ceremony to which no men, except the musicians, are admitted. But our cameraman finds an inconspicuous window. The leader of the Indian dancers garlands the princess with a chain of golden flowers. Princess Margaret tells the women of Mombasa, of all the achievements of which you may feel justly proud, I think the most far-reaching is your communal and racial harmony. This happy relationship cannot be enforced by legislation, but comes from the kindness of heart and tolerance that has grown in the home and in daily contacts between families and friends. Sustained by it, Mombasa will continue to play its part in the life of Kenya and the Commonwealth.